the year 20X5 of the Cosmic Calendar. The Galactic Federation research team discovered an unknown life form on planet SR388. While they were able to successfully obtain a living sample, their research vessel was attacked by space pirates during their voyage home. This attack was no coincidence. The space pirates had set their sights on these mysterious organisms called Metroids. They planned to replicate the sample and exploit its ability to absorb the energy of any life form. Their intention was to use Metroids as a weapon, one powerful enough to conquer the entire galaxy. To combat this threat, the Galactic Federation dispatched a lone bounty hunter to infiltrate the space pirate base on planet Zebus. Against all odds, Samus Aran eradicated the Metroids on Zebus and defeated Mother Brain, the leader of the Space Pirates, and so their sinister plans were thwarted for a time. Concerned by these developments and by the great threat the Metroid species still posed to the galaxy, the Galactic Federation mounted another expedition to SR-388. A special squadron of elite soldiers from the Galactic Federation police was dispatched to investigate. The team soon went missing, but not before transmitting a small sampling of data back to headquarters. Analysis of this data confirmed a Metroid presence within the interior of planet SR-388. So long as they continued to exist, these Metroids would forever pose a devastating threat to the galaxy. The resulting decision of the Galactic Federation Council was immediate and unanimous. Samus Aran, you must exterminate the Metroids once and for all. And of course, this is Metroid Samus Returns. As I said, I'd be playing this one after Return of Samus. Uh, as I've been doing with the other ones, made the, the other, the one, the one other remake. And I don't know, people... I've heard so many people go on about another Metroid 2 remake in the past, and how great it is. And I've tried, I've tried to watch through somebody playing it, and I, I say, I, I gotta say, I, I can't, I can't stand it. It looks terrible. It looks like they stripped the sprites and everything from Zero Mission but then used, like, Flash or something to animate the Metroids, they look terrible. Their designs are terrible. Just everything about it is just, I, I can't stand it. This is by far, in my opinion, the superior remake. I lost my audio. Oh, my headset died, awesome. Okay, no, it didn't die, it just somehow lost connection. I wonder if it's battery's low or something stupid. Anyway, so here we are on planet SR-388. So obviously, I am not recording this from a 3DS. That would be way better. So there's probably going to be some slight glitches and such. Like, little frame issues. That's just kind of the nature of this stuff. Like, whatever happened there kind of looked like something. But I still wanted to be able to do this one. You know, I don't even have to do that. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, there we go. But anyway, this game is fantastic. I love what they did with it. Nintendo really is the best at remaking their own games. And this isn't even written like Nintendo. This was... Mercury Steam, who of course made Metroid Dread as well. And they did a amazing job on that one. Oh look, they're gonna teach me how to do that thing I did. And I love the speed lines and the slight animation that makes it look like this is still moving, like it's just a freeze frame from an anime or something. Use your melee counter right before a charging enemy makes contact to parry. After doing so, you will automatically take aim. Press X to use your melee counter now. Press X to use melee counter before charging enemy. That I can't do anything yet. Oh, that's duh. 
Oh no, I just thought of something. How am I gonna do this? I don't know if I can properly play this game. How am I gonna hit... How am I gonna hit the wave... the, the beam buttons? And such. They're not beam buttons, but like all that other stuff. Wow, this series may end very soon. Because there's going to be a lot I can't figure out how to do. And I did not consider that, and you may not even see what I'm saying right now, so... I may just have to go on to Super Metroid. Why is this here? Didn't fall. Oh, I wonder. No, I can't do that, can I? And I don't think I can just. Oh, I can do it. Never mind. Got it figured out. That's a missile door. That's a missile. Die. What is this thing? It's a thing! Morph Ball Acquired! The compact Morph Ball lets you move through narrow passages. Simply push... Uh... I'm guessing that was the circle pad. Down while crouching, or tap the map on the touchscreen to make morph ball form. I mean, to take morph ball form. But I don't have bombs yet. Hey, die. Pow. Do I have to go this way? No, but it's a way to go. It's got a save thing. How about we save? I hit the wrong button. That's another thing. Gotta get used to that. Say completed. Ooh, purple stuff. Oh, this is the way that I need to go, not the way I want to go. There was a missile tank thing up there I want to get. And again, I apologize for any, like, graphical glitches or audio glitches, because... I guess this... Oh, I boned myself. Because I guess this isn't the most stable thing, so... We'll all just have to deal with it. Oh no! Oh, what is this? Yeah, you know when you wanna you wanna ride up on that bird tongue. A scan pulse. Upgrading suit for Aeon capability. And fuels special abilities like the scan pulse. Refill your gauge with the Aeon orbs. Ion orbs? I don't know. Eon orbs? May foes may drop when you either beat them or successfully parry. Scan pulse uses Aeon to scan an area. Use it to reveal map information and location of breakable blocks. Press up on the direction pad. To equip, press A while equipping. Equipped to activate. Cancel by pressing A again before the pulse is released. Yeah! I don't need it right now. But I keep... Well, that's right, I can't... And this just goes back the way I... Oh, this is the way I gotta go. I don't wanna go the way I gotta go! Oh, this just shows a little cutscene. I'm not quite there yet. Oh, 
Bye bye, Hornoat. His eyes are still nice and bright. With shock! An amiibo option has been unlocked. Oh boy! I have no idea how to do anything like that. Well then, what was this way? I forget. It's been a while. Oh, uh, I'm not over there. Hey, you get out of there now. Oh, no! So it's just a way to get that, apparently. Yes, Miss Okay, so that's all that was. I don't know why I got out of ball. More ball! And that's just where I dropped in. Okay, let's go do this. And if you look at the map and compare uh, Return of Samus with Samus Returns, they are pretty similar. They've just added a lot of different kind of passages and stuff to this one, but the overall map is, like, just about spot on. Which is not something... I don't know. I guess it's similar in that stupid remake. But, they didn't put as much imagination into it, like, making it different, I guess? I don't know. I really don't know, because I've only seen it a little bit, and I didn't like it, so I don't try to retain too much about it. This game was everything I could have hoped for in a remake of this. I always liked Return of Samus. Oh, I'm gonna say it again, because I can. Look at that, it's going psycho. Dude, you don't even get to see, like, the save animation in this. What was the point of going this way? As opposed to... Oh, just a missile tank. Guess I, if I would have dropped down a little bit more, I would have seen that that was even a thing. I can't, I can't do it. It's a missile thing, isn't it? There we go. See, that's something that's a little different. You come at this from the other direction. Sweet, sweet Metroid DNA. Fill that up, even though I don't think I need to. Oh, okay, I have 30. It's a missile door. That's an energy tank. Ha ha! Duh, we can't do that. But do we want to? Yes, we do. Just guess what this gives us. Get old Charge Me McQuarrie. The charge beam gathers energy, which is then released all at once. This power can be used to open charge doors. Press and hold Y to charge, and then release Y to fire. 